Have you ever wondered why we are considered a living thing? Why are we considered life? Why isn't a smartphone or computer that you're most likely viewing on considered to be alive? Why is a wooden table not considered life, be it a tree is a living thing? What is life? Well, it's debatable, but most scientists, however, do agree on some key things. These things is what determines whether something is a living being. It is called the characteristics of life. This is how we can determine what a living thing is. In this channel, Easy Science, I'll dive into the study of life, or what scientists call biology. Biology is such a diverse subject with several different topics. I will be teaching you the basics as well as detailed concepts in biology, such as the characteristics of life, which is a basic concept to understand. So, what are these characteristics? Well, for starters, all living things are made up of cells. Most of you have heard of a cell but don't really know what it is. Well, let me explain. A cell is a very small structure that makes up an organism, basically what we are made of. This tiny picture you see here is one of many stuck together, creating a body part like a muscle or a nerve. There are several types of cells, such as the cells that make up your skin. Picture this cell, among many others, stuck together and stacked on top of each other. That is our skin. These organisms that have more than one cell, such as animals and plants, are called multicellular. There are other living things that are only composed of one cell, such as bacteria or most protists. These are called unicellular. Second, all living things must respond to their environment. An excellent example is a Venus flytrap, which is a plant that eats bugs. Yes, a plant that eats bugs. So basically, a Venus flytrap has these hair-like structures sticking out called trigger hairs. When an insect touches one, the flytrap will sense it and automatically close it and digest it. This is how a Venus flytrap responds to its environment. Third, a living thing will use energy to survive. What do I mean by that? Well, for example, a human's metabolism. When a human eats food, your saliva, stomach, and other digestive organs will use energy to absorb nutrients from your food. Fourth, a living thing will maintain its internal conditions. What do I mean by this? As an example, a human has a certain internal temperature to work its best. Let's say it is snowing and you need to go throw the trash outside. When you step outside, you will begin to get cold. Your body's way to fix this is by shivering. When you shiver, your muscles are moving so fast that they begin to create heat to go back to its preferred internal temperature. Fifth, a living thing must reproduce. A chicken will lay eggs and once the egg hatches, a chick emerges. This is to ensure that a certain species does not become extinct. And six, a living thing will adapt to its environment. An excellent example of this is a polar bear. A polar bear lives in harsh, cold environments. The bear's way of adaptation is by growing a thick fur coat to keep itself from freezing. These are the characteristics of life. Thanks for watching.